Hey guys, or Mac here. Probably several more years of King of Dragons Pass. So let's go, LP3. Near 1340, uh, this stuff happened in the previous year. Let's see what happens in 1340. Worried that the udders of our cows would only give trickles of milk this year. That's no good. You say the same thing every year. Every year, sign three to crop magic. We have a lot of food. I think we can avoid just assigning uh, one, two to crop magic. Actually, let's, let's just leave it like that for now. Didn't find nothing. First thing I want to do is sacrifice to Eralda. I want to sacrifice for Milk Blessing. And now we have Milk Blessing without upgrading our temple. I think it lasts for the year. Infru, a tall young warrior of the, uh, Moral Marthy, wishes to marry Beneva, daughter of the chief. My goodness. He has come with Zarnal, the Oromal flaw speaker, to help but plead his case. He would forge an alliance. I'd be proud uh, to have my daughter's marriage provide the spark. Cows would be nice. Uh. <laughs> well, that's a modern way of thinking, Mr. Trickster, sir, sir but uh, it doesn't, it's not exactly modern times in this setting here. I think we should approve the marriage. And of course, he does seem pretty confident about these 20... Uh, no, uh, that is a gift of 20 cows. That's the same thing as calling on a favor of cows, but it's not that many cows, so we're just going to approve the marriage. Uh, maybe I should have asked for cows. I didn't know there was going to be a marriage feast. Ten... a person to our population because she got married to, into another clan. But oh well. Healing, protection. I wonder what they're protecting us from in particular right now. Bernard Riel is doing his thing. Please give more calf blessing. so shocked that she couldn't stop shaking. She immediately divorced him and left for her home to live, promising to tell everyone that we were tricksters and scoundrels. Aww. <laughs> well, that was gonna bite us in the butt eventually. We're not doing that again. Captain McUglyface can, uh, 
try to find a... Uh... That guy is basically just a pain. Go up this way. Uh, while we were exploring to the south, we found a set of old bagpipes. At first we thought they were broken and worthless, but when one of us remembered the story about the uh, bagpipes of Ronsky, whose music routed the trolls during the Battle of Swirns Ford, the last we had heard they were stolen from the Three Winds clan in the Holy Country, but now we've found them! Oh, hey! And we're being attacked by the Boscovi. They do not have a lot to attack us with. And we have the bagpipes, which won't help us very much, because they're not trolls! So we're just gonna kill them. Does it matter if they're magic stronger if they're full of arrows? <laughs> you just think the same thing all the time. You just want to smash into people. We don't have enough cows to support the clan as it is. offer reverse advice. Whatever you suggest, I should just not pick it. That's like, what does a church say? Oh, hmm, I better not pick that option then. Uh, let's do that. Yay, we introduced them. Okay then, let's go to Carol Finn. Yeah, go slowly this time. All 18 of the weapon things, and uh, huh. Well, jeez, if you guys are so eager to be killed... Ooh, no, you didn't. Jeez, guys! Leave me alone! <laughs> it's just constant raids throughout fire season. I'm gonna raid those guys back as soon as Earth season's over. A milk white calf has been born into the herd. One of your Carls Orundal. Uh, one of your Carls Orundal. The white calf is considered the creature of great good omen. benefit of a second or length, our wisdom will be fortified. Okay, we're going to sacrifice it to the cow mother. Because, jeez, we need... Sacrifice to Malia, goddess of disease. Do we wish to do so again or risk ang angering her by ending the sacrifices? End them! Uh, Helgana the Knowing, a Lancor, my devotee of your clan, describes to you a curious event that took place while your exploratory party visited Mount Carol Finn. There they encountered a number of wind spirits who claimed kinship to Orlanth. And with Orland's mother god mother, the goddess Carol Finn. Some people call them listening winds, others seeing winds. Agana has now visited with these spirits and suggested the clan sacrifice to them in order to gain their favor. Home. No. That's a good point. We can't afford to sacrifice cows, this is true. Uh, sure. How about, 
Skirmishing is good for defense, but not for offense, because you just stay back and fling arrows. Those are some fuzzy cows, my goodness. Shanna Anroy, from many different clans, have gathered together to pay homage to their goddess as part of their devotions. They are traveling to various tools as an offering to heal the sick and wounded. They ask that you only promise to aid them in the future when their help is needed. Uh, when your help is needed. People they heal, the greater the favor they will ask. People who are honored by their visiting. Visit. Yeah, that many people sick and that many people wounded. Go for it. Sweet. It's good to have everyone on work in working shape. We have 15 weapon things, we are short a few. Good use for uh, dark season. Okay. Although it's just a skull on a stick, but we can sense chaos, which is important. Okay, 58 goods. We have 75 goods. I'm glad we got the wind spirits in. If I could try a quest, did I put any coin points in the questing? I do not think I did. So probably best to not. Let's see who else raided me in the last year? The ring, Danny. Hello. We're going to try the same thing. Maneuver. Ah. Ouch. Endal, chief of the Lonesy clan. Honest, but does that is so honest that he does not recognize the dishonesty in others. Too cautious. Very pious. Skin flint. We know he's honest and oblivious. We know he is cautious. We know he is very pious and he is a skin flint. Not agree that generosity is a virtue. Birds give us insight into the end all. Like the coat's uh, tribute from them. He gave us gifts and the people were happy. Sweet! We lost a lot of weapon things. The people are not happy. Zero more people. Because we lost people and got people. We broke even. Thirteen fewer head of cattle. Curse you, Ringdani! Five fewer horses and 17 fewer sheep. How many sheep do we have? Oh, geez, there are 
Overcrowded and stripping the pastures. Okay, we need to enlarge the pastures. Hey, there's the shrine to the wind spirits. And uh, the Marangor shrine. Shrine is doing overtime, providing earth blood. Twenty-nine nobles. Mm, we lost a couple. Well, that was this year, guys. Stay tuned for next year.